It is how they find peace, how they work through problems. Miles calm their minds, but... In my right hand, I carry mace, and in my left hand, I carry this, so that if anyone attacks me, like, I will be ready. The women's minds... Uh, I refer to it as a Native American spearhead. ...can never stop. It's sad that I have to do that, that I have to think about that, that I constantly have to be on the lookout. Marathoner Eliza Fletcher, a Baylor University grad, was kidnapped and killed on a 4.30 a.m. run. The murder was in Memphis, Tennessee, far from Texas. No one in the White Rock Running Co-op of Dallas knows Fletcher, but they feel like they do. And on social media, they are watching her, the victim, be blamed for running before dawn alone. They're talking about what hours she was running and what she was wearing. It's crazy. In 2015, I had a gun pulled on me while I was running. And one of the first things people said to me is, why were you running so early alone? And she was just doing something she loved. People ought to be able to go out and run. Conrad Vickroy is a North Texas runner who's been teaching self-defense to female runners for 20 years. It's the attacker's fault. It's not the runner's fault. Women face a difficult reality. Still, they run, and for that, they should never be shamed. And we should be able to do that without having to worry every morning. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.